Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today we will see standard 7 subject science in the chapter number 17. Chapter name is Forest, our lifeline. In the previous video part 1, we have seen up to main 5. Today we will see main 6. Answer the following questions in short. 2 marks each. Number 1. Give brief information about the plants of forest. Answer is, there are varieties of plants in forest. Trees like sal, teak, simal, sesam, neem, pelas, fig, khair, amla, bamboo, khanchar, etc. Kachnar, etc. There are several other trees, shrubs, herbs and grasses also found. The trees are covered with different types of creepers and climbers. See the question number 2. How would you, how would so many plants grow in the forest? Answer is, in nature, trees produce enough seed. The forest floor provides favorable conditions for them to germinate and develop into seedlings and saplings. Some grow up into trees. For all this sufficient water is available from rain. Humus is constantly formed from dead matter and nutrition are also available. See the question number 3. What is the food change? Explain it with an example. Answer is based on food requirement, organisms are dependent on one another to form a chain called food chain. Plants are autotrophs as they prepare their food through a process of photosynthesis. All animals, whether herbivores or carnivores, depend ultimately on plants for food. For example, grass is eaten by insects, which in turn is taken by frog. The frog is consumed by snakes, then grass, two insects, then frog, snake and eagle. See the question number four. How is animal dung useful in the forest? Answer is, animal dung decay in the forest. A bunch of seedlings are sprouting from it. These seedlings are mainly of herbs and shrubs. The decaying animal dung provides nutrition to the seedlings to grow. So, animal dung is useful in the forest to make the soil fertile. See the question number 5. Why are the raindrops not hitting the forest floor directly? Answer is, the uppermost layer of the forest Canopy intercepted the flow of raindrops and most of the water coming down through the branches and stems of trees. From the leaves it is dripping slowly over branches of shrubs and herbs. So, force of raindrops decreased too much when they reach the soil. So, the raindrops are not hitting the forest floor directly. See the question number 6. Explain how the animals dwelling in the forest help it forest to grow and regenerate answer is animals dwelling in the forest directly or indirectly depend on plants of forest they obtain nutrition and excrete excretory waste such waste provide nutrition to plants certain animals help in pollination and seed dispersal for plants so germination growth and Regeneration of plants on forest land take place. Thus, animals dwelling in the forest help it grow and regenerate. See the question number 7. Explain how forest prevents flood. Answer is, there are large number of trees side by side in a forest. The roots of the trees absorb the water and prevent it from flowing, flowing away. Due to dense canopy of trees, rain water does not directly fall on soil. Roots of, soil, uh, roots of trees also help in percolations of water into soil. The floor of forest is covered with a layer of dead and decaying leaves, fruits, seeds, twigs and small herbs. Due to this, the flow of water is controlled. Thus, forests prevent flood. See the question number 8. What are decomposers? Name any two of them what do they do in the forest answer is decompose are the organisms which feed on the dead bodies of plants and animals certain fungi and bacteria act as a decomposers 
The decomposers play an important role in the forest. They feed upon the dead plants and animal tissues and convert them into a humus. From humus, nutrition is released and available to plants. So, for the removal of dead and waste matter from forest, they decompose them. See the question number nine. Explain the role of forest in maintaining uh, maintaining the balance between the oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Answer is. There are large number of trees are in the forest. During day, trees uh, prepare food using atmospheric CO2 by process of photosynthesis and release O2 in the atmosphere. Animals use oxygen and release CO2 in the process of respiration. The rate of photosynthesis is more than the rate of respiration. So, in forest, photosynthesis of plants and respiration of both plants and animals maintain the balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. See the question number ten. Explain why there is no waste in a forest. Answer is in forest, dead animals become food for vultures. crows jackals etc the rest of parts are decomposed by certain bacteria and fungi like microorganisms they feed on dead plants and animal tissues and convert them into a dark colored humus from humus nutrition is released and available to plants so anything lying on the floor of forest land is useful in one or another way so there is no waste in a forest See the question number eleven. Explain why there is a need of variety of animals and plants in a forest. Answer is there is a need of variety of animals and plants in forest because it increases stability and productivity of forest. Gaseous cycles such as CO two to O two goes on due to plants and animals. Animal droppings and dead bodies get converted into humor into humus, which enrich the soil fertility. For complex food chains and food webs, there is also need of variety of animals and plants. Now we will see the main seven in the next video, part three. Stay safe, stay healthy. Okay, bye.